So with Shibarium right around the corner, there is a lot to talk about right now within the SHIB ecosystem. We recently have seen some positive price action, not only from Bone and Leash, which have been moving up quite nicely here in the last month, but also a nice pop in the price for SHIB this past weekend. Dialing back a little bit, giving some of that back, of course, traders going to be taking their profits right now, but it was good to see a lot of new whales coming in and current whales coming in and adding on and topping off their ship holdings. But something else that came up last week was this idea of self-sovereign identity, SSI, within Shibarium, right? We've seen Lucy tweet a lot about it here recently. Shaitoshi has been uh, talking about it as well. And the way we can think about this is owning your own data, right? So imagine a world where you actually own your own data and you can sell it as you see fit rather than literally having no control over your own data and these big corporations and companies selling your data without you even knowing it. That's what's happening right now in a Web 2 environment, right? Now with Web 3, things could be a little bit different. And with the idea of SSI, self-sovereign identity, this is where owning your own data can actually be lucrative for you, right? And Shibarium is going to be uh, working on this. You know, I've read a lot of different things about like health data, right? Because that's probably some of the most coveted data out there is your own health data, right? Because these big companies then have access to, uh, you know, everything that, that is tied back to you in some way, whether, you know, it's what medications you're using, what, what kind of uh, conditions you may have or something like that. So imagine a world where, again, you can monetize that health data, right? Or monetize your customer data on, let's say, a platform like Amazon, right? Or like your shopping data. All of that stuff right now is free for big companies to obtain and utilize it and make profit. And you don't see any of those gains. You don't see any of that, uh, any of that, right? So this idea of self-sovereign identity is kind of an idea that's been around for a little while since Web3 has been created, but Shibarium is going to be really focusing in on this. Uh, and it, Lucy says, say no to data leaks and embrace a future where trust rules. Let's make the digital world a wild, wild west of possibilities. And uh, you could see there, Bone uh, is pictured there underneath right there. So uh, it's an interesting idea, and I, I think it's a really good a uh, good idea, right? Because this, the, the the whole thing with Shibarium, it actually allows us to kind of look into uh, these sort of uh, ideas, right? And actually come to fruition, they, you know. So uh, now on top of that, we've got you know the price action, which we've been monitoring. You know, we did pop up and lose a zero very briefly. People did take some profits. We're sitting at about the eight nine six one level right now. Volumes way back down from where it was just a couple uh, days ago. However. Uh, this cooling off period is pretty normal considering we saw a 20% move in the price of SHIB on no new news, right? It was basically just uh, some hype built up around Shibarium. And, uh, you know, it, it's to be expected. I think, you know, a lot of people have been saying over the weekend, every single time we make a move, it, it just sells back off. You have to understand what kind of environment we're in, what kind of market we're in. We have to be patient, guys. We've got to be patient. It, it, we're not in a, in a, in a 2021 uh, fourth quarter type of market right now where everything is just moving and, and you know, you could just throw darts at anything and make money. We're not in that type of market. Uh, so we have to be realistic about that. So that's where we are in terms of the price action. Now, the other thing that we have right around the corner is this big conference, the Blockchain Futurist Conference, August 15th and 16th in Toronto. This is Canada's largest crypto, Web3, and blockchain event. It's their fifth annual this is going to be a big deal for the SHIB community because Shiba Inu is the main sponsor at the event. They're also hosting a huge pool party as well, uh, the summer of Shibarium. But if we scroll on down here, the title sponsors, the top title sponsors this year, Shiba Inu, one of those. So uh, this is a big, big deal for SHIB. You can see some of the platinum sponsors down here, Kraken, XDC, and Coinbase, Brave Browser, but the 2023 title sponsor, Shiba Inu, is one of those three. A ton of uh, gold and silver sponsors as well, and some familiar faces down here as well. You know, I work with uh, the Corium team. I've worked with Crypto.com in the past. Some great companies on this list. Looking really forward to, you know, checking this kind of conference out. Haven't been to one of these yet. Uh, but 
even bigger than just being a title sponsor. We're going to have Marcy Jastro speaking at the event. Shaitoshi using AI is going to be speaking at the event. And word on the street is we're going to get the launch of Shibarium during this event as well. So we are literally nine to ten days away from everything changing for the SHIB ecosystem. And uh, listen, we're making a huge transition from just a joke, just a community token. Let's see what we can do with it to, wow, a utility-based token that even Bitcoin maxis are starting to take notice on, saying that, hey, maybe this SHIB ecosystem could actually be something that DeFi hasn't seen before. And that's been the vision, right? That's been the vision since August 2020, since when SHIB was created. So, We'll be out at the event. I'll be covering up as much as I can for you, bringing you up to speed on what's going on from out there. Uh, be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're subscribed right now so you don't miss out on any of that content that we bring you. Uh, hopefully an exclusive interview with Marcy and some other SHIB community members and just want to bring you inside that event as close as I can. Um, make sure you guys are uh, locked into that and subscribing down below. Appreciate you guys so much. But, yes, a lot going on here in the uh, in the ecosystem. We'll be covering it. Uh, especially here, heavy, heavy, heavy over the next couple weeks. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how this all plays out. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to smash that like button down below.